I wanted to be a rock and roll star. That's what you did. And I mean, I, I, you know, I turned up with uh, an acoustic guitar and I sang... <laughs> I have to remember what I sang. Um, I think, I think I sang a Blue Suede Shoes and I think one other. Uh, yeah, and that was that. And, <laughs> and Jack Good just said, oh, jolly good, jolly good. He said, just uh, do, come back when your voice is uh, broken and developed properly. And I thought, oh, God, you know, I'm 16 years old. Uh, <laughs> that was that. I met Eddie Cochran on the way up, <laughs> which was, is incredible. I mean, it, it's Eddie Cochran. <laughs> yeah, wonderful innocence, because I also did a couple in those days. They did at the Shepherd's Bush Empire on Saturday afternoons. Show you what it was like. Afternoon, not evening. Uh, rock and roll shows for amateur rock and roll show. So you turn up for this at the Shepherd's Bush Empire and they had whichever band, a band, you know, Tom, Dick or Harry was there, they would be the backing band. Now, you turned up, how do you know the backing band is going to play what you want to do in the first place? So you, you get there, and, do you know this? No. Do you know, yeah. Okay, yeah, oh, fine. Yeah, let's do that. Good. You're on the stage, and there are two things about this. The kiddies in the audience, they're teenagers, not real kiddies, but <clears throat> they're going mad just for the noise because the noise value was just incredible. Now, when you did your show like that, you couldn't hear yourself sing. There were no monitors, so everything was screaming out of the amplifiers behind you, and you could hear nothing but yelling, screaming, and this cacophony of noise. So you staggered through it, and the only yardstick you had was, I was always told by the people there, it all depends what they throw at you. <laughs> I said, oh, I said, that's good, you know, really. And sure enough, you know, they threw coins. Now, <clears throat> was that a sign of appreciation? I'm not sure. But when a halfpenny hit you on the side of the head, it actually hurt. So I'm not sure it was appreciation. And the joke was, every singer that turned up to do this looked the same, me included. You had what passed for a white jacket because you knew Elvis and people like that wore. But no one in England could buy a white jacket in 1958-59. So you had an oatmeal-y type tweedy jacket uh, with as dark a shirt as you could find and some sort of medallion. And everyone looked the same. They all turned out like that. It was very funny.